Key point, never let your ego be more expensive than the lesson. Another key point, it's okay to be wrong. I got an underrated superpower for you. It's the ability to admit when you're wrong. That's a very underrated and underutilized superpower that not enough humans appreciate or recognize. There comes a point in time when, when you aren't the expert about something. It's okay to say I'm not the expert. It's okay to be like, actually, no, I don't know anything about this. I need some help. I need to seek guidance. I need to seek a professional. I need to rely on somebody else's judgment. It's, it's okay to not know everything because n nobody knows everything. And there's a crucial point at which the decision must be made. Does the lesson more valuable than your pride? It's a difficult decision to make. But whenever there's a discrepancy, whenever there's an element of confusion, okay, is, is my ego worth more than learning something new? Is my reputation worth more than solving a problem that needs to be solved? Is my point of view worth more than the common good of anybody involved or anybody who's indirectly involved? Because there are a lot of decisions that come up where there are aftershocks or there's the initial influence, the initial impact of the decision. But then there's so many ripple effects, I've learned that cultivating that underappreciated superpower of saying, yo, I'm wrong, I need help, I don't know the best way, I defer my judgment because somebody else is in a better position to make a better judgment. When I learned how to do that, and when I learned to make it a lifestyle choice of always questioning my own role in a situation and always making sure that, okay, is this my expertise? talking or just my ego talking do I just want to be right or do I genuinely think that I have a sound logical rationale behind what I'm presenting behind what I'm talking about behind my opinion more often than not when people get into arguments about whatever it is, it's just straight up because they don't want to be viewed as wrong. And that's because it's tied to ego and pride. Is it worth it? More often than not, n no. Sometimes it is, but even when it seems worth it, at the very end of the day, it never really is worth it. Because your ego and pride are just superficial. It's kind of fluff. It's, it don't really last. It's like a balloon. It's just full of air. And it can, once you hit it with, with a needle. When somebody hits you with like, 
a very precise, ew, my nails are dirty. Yikes. When you can admit that you're wrong and move on from it, it'll save a lot of headache, save a lot of heartache, save a lot of relationships. It'll improve a lot of relationships, because in reality, And this goes into platonic, professional, romantic, any given type of relationship. When you can effectively defer judgment, when you can effectively put your ego and pride to the side and be like, yo, let's really solve the problem versus let's all gather around my ego and let's all prove why I'm right. It ain't worth it. A key point. Never let your ego be more expensive than the lesson. And the lesson can be anything that comes from you learning something new or you unlearning something that was toxic, detrimental to others, hurtful, counterproductive. Never let your ego exceed the value of the lesson. Another key point, it's okay to be wrong. It's okay to not know the answer. It's okay to be less experienced in a specific thing. It's okay to rely on the judgment of others when appropriate, when someone has more experience, more expertise. You know. So I'm gonna leave you with this. Never let your ego overshadow somebody else's dimensions.